Hello, gentle beings! Welcome! Welcome to another On Demand. Today we're going to be looking at the T44 all the way up to the Object 140 and discussing the differences between the Object 140 and T62A. We're going to get some gameplay in each vehicle except for the T62A because I don't have it. Because there's very little point in me having it. More on that later. But, yeah, we'll be understanding all of the different vehicles, their characteristics, their traits, their defects, their, their cons and pros. So, let's look at our first candidate on the list, the T44. Now, this unfortunately falls into the bracket of Tier 8 medium tanks. And Tier 8 medium tanks across the board are basically... I don't want to say underwhelming, but they're, they're very, very mediocre. Like, all of these medium tanks just... Don't really excel. There are some that have one thing going for them, like the T34 20 with alpha damage, the T69 with that deadly water loader, and the Object 4 and 6 with that amazing low profile and sniping T. It's got the T54's gun, basically, on a tier 8 vehicle, which is just mind bogglingly good, but it's only got 1200 hit points, which is less than a T4 lightweight at the tier. So, I mean. They just don't excel in any one trait or characteristic as much as the tier 7 medium tanks do. The Comet with its gun depression, the A44 with its armor, and it, its 107 Zist cannon with 300 alpha damage at tier 7. I mean, I, I just feel like tier 8 medium tanks as a whole are underwhelming. But that said, because the T44 does not excel at anything, the best thing that rises above the norm in this tank is probably the gun depression, which theoretically is 7, but tanks.gg says it's 5, so I'm a, bit, I'm a bit miffed, I guess we'll find out when I play it, but if it is 7, that's going to be better than the average that you're looking at. So, gun depression is probably the best factor. Now, I was saying, because this tank does not excel in any regard, its armor is okay, its tank armor is okay, its gun is okay, its mobility is okay, it means that it, it doesn't have a disadvantage, which leaves you with a very, very good all-rounder, because it, it can perform at anything, it's a, it's a very versatile tank at, at the tier, it's not like the 416, which has a hit point disadvantage, and no armor has to play defensively, it's not like the first point of time, which has gun stabilization so bad and such poor pen, like, like the T44, that it can't pen anything when it gets into hard tier matchups, T44's got a mobility, and a better aim time, and better performing gun to compensate for that, it's not like t 69 which has to go out that auto loader, it's not like CDC that has no armor and gets module damage when easily. You know, all of these tanks have disadvantages co to compensate for their strengths. Whereas the T44, I feel like at tier 8, is a really good all rounder. Now, let's talk about firepower. You get the LB1 gun. And there's a point that I want to bring up here. When choosing where to go up to your top tier medium tanks, my recommendation to you is going to be to go up through the 416 to the 430 version 2, and to the Object 430 at tier 10. Now, the 140 is a better, more versatile tank than the Object 430. But, actually, you know what? Snatch that. Don't go to the 430. Just go to the 430 version 2. Because, if we look at the tech trees here, this is really important when you're finding out this line for the first time. We look at the tech trees. The 416 gets this gun. Okay? And that gun... My apologies, I got distracted. So what I was saying, the 430, as you can end up to it, you get this gun. That's a stock gun that only appears on the 430 and the Object 4 and 6. And it is the best gun to use on the Object 430 version 2 because of its rate of fire. You just don't care about the added pen because, hey, heat shells. But... While you are grinding this beautiful, beautiful tank, the 430 version 2 is amazing. Its armor is better than the T54, its profile is better than the T54. The only thing it lacks in is gun depression. It's got the highest DPM with its stock gun at tier 9 on any medium tank. You should bear in mind that this gun, which you can search whilst playing an awesome tank, the 430 version 2, this gun right here is the same gun that you can use on the T-54 to get to the t 6 a And that is something that you should bear in mind. If you go up to the 430 version 2 first, 
that you can search for this gun while playing with an all the the best gun to use on the vehicle already. Whereas if you want to search for the upgraded guns on the T-54, you will have to go and through hell with the LB-1 gun that you use on the T-54, and all you get is basically a limited fire boost. It's it's an awful stock mount on the T-54, which is why I recommend for you to go up to the 430 first, because if you're at the 430 version 2 and then you can search for the T-54, keep the uh, T-44 if you still got it, although they're different tanks before that, the 430, 416 and the T-44. So if you've got the T-44, go to the T-54, after the 430 version 2, and you can use this gun while you grind for this one, and it makes the grind on the T54 so much easier if you've gone up the other line first. So, that's uh, something worth noting, but that's enough for now. Let's hop in to a game and see what we can do. Now, I'm using uh, optics on this vehicle. I tend to use optics on my medium tanks now. I didn't use to, I used to favor vents for the sight line of fire increase. But I feel like Optics does more for me now. And this is about the worst matchup you could ever possibly... I'm in an Object 430. Okay, whoopsie. Uh, we're in T44 now. Uh, which hopefully will give us e pretty much exactly the same matchup. <laughs> God damn it. Doesn't matter what tank I'm in. Still IS-7s, IS-7s, IS. All right. So... T44, higher tier matchup, what can you do? Well, don't lose hope. You can still be annoying, and you can still be there. And being there is good, because with tier 8 medium tanks, you may think, oh, I can't engage tier 10 heavies, oh, oh I've got such a disadvantage. Well, you don't, because it's all in the way you play. It's all in the attitude that you take to the game. you got to think, okay... So if I look at a tier 10 heavy, he's not going to be scared of me, which means he's not going to pay me as much attention, which in turn means that I'm likely to be able to get on his flank, to get into annoying positions for him, while whilst he's trying to engage tanks like he thinks I'm important, I can get in there and I can be annoying, I can just put out consistent damage, and I can make sure that I'm doing the best I can my team. I'm targeting T10 here because it's the most likely shot I've got that's going to pen like that. Suddenly a wild conqueror now appears. <laughs> that is one dead conqueror. Okay. Um, I'm definitely not spotted but thanks for that blind flower. God dang. Uh, what the hell is that E100 doing? What? Um, yes, I am going to live premium now. What? What am I watching right now? What? Uh, what? <laughs> what is this? On what planet is that an idea that goes into your head? Holy crap, okay, well, I'm seeing an opportunity on the one two on the one two line, so I bet could you push my fat ass like My mobility over here is gonna go down the toilet really, really quickly <laughs> Hello All right Well, I really don't like uh, pushing over this land as well. I shouldn't as well as the <sighs> Massive amount of mobility it costs me. Although not as bad now in the new physics, wow. Um, it also means that we're engaging around a ridiculously linear and easy to defend passageway. These guys are just going to pull us back into this and then we get flanking fire and incoming fire from the E75, the G10 and the E100 at distance. Our only chance really is to uh, put people in the cap and block them and just uh, work with cap pressure. Um... I'll die sideways in. Okay, alright. So I'm I'm planning to put myself sideways in the cap circle so that I can give my team some cover. Uh, 
Because I, no, I don't think it's the right plane right now. If we stay here though, we're just going to get slowly bored alive. Can our team hold base? No, they can't because of the center forces. Okay. Well, IS-7 is going to need a hand. Hey, bud. Don't mind me, I'm just a lower plate shield. Okay, here we go. Let me get my ch channel out of the way so that he can shoot if he wants to. Shh. Be very quiet. Alrighty. Just gonna give my IS-7 as much cover as that is available. Well, that's just a HE, but we've got cover on that corner now. They're going to have to expose themselves a lot more to see what I can do. Look at them. I have to come all the way around now. What is our IS-7 doing? Jeez. IS-7! There's targets right there. Don't push the neck out of the way. Shoot over it. Go hold down. You're an IS-7. It's kind of instinctual, isn't it? There we are. Look at this guy. Look at him! He's so cool! I kind of wish he'd fire his gun, though. And actually hit something with it. I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, yes! Even in death, I serve my team. Sure, don't just fire HE shell at the, at the T-1024 or anything. For God's sake, people! Load HE for the E4. Fire a high explosive shit. Hell? Yeah, that was a bad night. At the E4. Okay, ISM, just. What are you doing? There's a freaking TVP! Like. What? I. <laughs> How many opportunities can you give to these people that they can waste? Yes! It's working! My master plan is coming together! <laughs> uh, I feel like an evil genius now. Look at how much they've had to expose themselves. The bloody STI... Uh, IS-7. IS-7. I... IS-7. Well, I mean, that's what you can do in your tier 8 medium tanks. Would we have won if I didn't do that? Uh, probably. Match out why, but doesn't matter. I know that I'm not going to do anything in that engagement. What, what more could I have done in that engagement? What more could I have done than do what I did there? Like, you've got to realise that you're not... Sometimes you're not going to be the important one in the engagement, and the best thing that you can do is... No, 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 not the 430 version 2. Is, uh, die in a convenient place for your team, where even after you die, you can still be impacting the battle. That's not the greatest advice I've ever given. Wow, that might shut up. But, I mean, you can see what I mean. Sometimes... The best thing you can do is not going to be the best thing for you. Worth bearing in mind in your tier 8 medium tanks, because those matchups when you're in tier 10 battles, they'll start to happen, and really, the gap between tier 8 and 10 is just so monstrous, as we can see here. Moving from one of the mediocre tanks in the game, or, or at least the uh, distinctly average and all-round tanks in the game, to a tank that excels at what it does to such a degree that it is lightly considered overpowered. T-54, with 120mm of frontal armor and 80 at the side, 200mm of frontal trunk armor, 7.69 rams per minute. On this 100mm gun, this tank is incredibly powerful. So, let's see what we can do with it. Now, the Skodas are going over there, which means that I'm going to tell these guys to fall back because it looks like our team wants to excel in the town. Now, here's the thing. The enemy have annexed the E50 T4 Skoda, 
and that CDC and FE as well as a lot of J8 medium tanks, so that's collateral damage that will get involved in that engagement as well. Good, the chief was listening to me. Now the thing is, if the enemy want to attack our base on this map, it's very open. And with the common tanks that we've got, Skodas and T-54s, we can easily defend base from these hills. So I'm not worrying about the uh, northwest of the map at all. The only reason I would pay attention to it is as an opportunity to attack the enemy team. I'm really not worrying about defending it if it crumbles. Um, so, I'm gonna try and help these Skodas, see if I can play aggressively, I'll be the front to armor, I'll be in the engagement, so that they can do what they need to do, which is come in at the side at an unexpected angle, and get catch the enemy by surprise, so, let's see what we can do, not gonna go to that northern west flank where the centurion is, as I said, hmm, Amex 30s over on the other side. I expect the E50 to be in this area. Hmm. WSS just fired. Really? Come on. It's a Panther 2, it's not an E50. Alright, so if anything attacks me at this point, I've got the supporting fire of the uh, Skoda, so... Enemy armor is damaged. Oh, come on, say hi. Yay, tracking damage! Alright, cool. Bit tedious, but uh, there we go. I didn't want to push too far out in case I blocked the... Uh, uh, Chief 41, never drive out in front of an autoloader. Now, enemy are closing over the open land, I can use the hills ahead of me to defend much like that Skoda is doing right now. He's going to have a great time over there, but I need to get back to base. We anticipated this before the game even st well, not before the game even started, before the main engagement started. So, I want to clean up this T25 and STI-1 because if we clean them up, them up then we can use the hills Oh, man, really? Wow, that's a shot. We can use the hills above. What the? Where the? Come on. Okay, cool. So now I can use this land in an attempt to defend base. In fact, I don't have any time to waste here. I'm gonna have to advance onto a certain angle. E50's got a stock gun, that's bad for me. So I'm trying to get a separate angle. Now there's a ball stick out here, but I don't have time to worry about that right now. The enemy need another position. Wait, what the hell just hit me? The enemy need another position to worry about. I've got to get a separate angle on the enemy where I can surprise them. shells, see if we can get into a depression in land. Come on, are you serious? Are you serious? Come on! What the hell is that? That kill, that kill would have saved the game. I planned that perfectly! It was perfect! That maneuver should have saved the game! That shot needed to hit. If that hit, game saved. GG. One of the best positional plays I've ever made. <sighs> Anticipation. Such a key skill in mediums. I knew that there were buildings inside of the cap circle. I knew that we wouldn't be able to defend from the hills indefinitely, that the enemy would hide behind the water towers and sick things in the caps, which is why I lashed the low land with the only on my flank, took out the Borsig, went land behind them, so I could get into that position because I knew we'd need a cap reset. And if that shot hit, then that's it.
That was the plan coming together and RNG just took it away. <sighs> Alright. So, Object 1 for the best tier 10 medium tank in the game for all around capabilities in my opinion. Um, 6 degrees of gun depression, that's one more than the T-54. Uh, and should we do a comparison to the T-62A? Sure. T-62A would have turned faster there. It's got a high transverse speed. One of the general things about the T-62A is it's more mobile at lower speeds. There's a top speed limit of 50, whereas here you've got 55. That comes into play when taking positions like the hill on mines or playing aggressively on currently assault. Um, early positions that Object 140s will get into a lot faster than t 62 as t 62 i does have 0.01 degree more accuracy and it does have 0.1 less aim time so it's more accurate by 0.1 but that's not noticeable due to the soft stature of the vehicle basically making them extremely extremely similar. The Chisukudua, however, has 5 degrees of gun depression, much like the Object 430. And that does come into play in multiple situations, because although the Chisukudua may have that amazing, amazing turret armor, and it does, its turret armor is absolutely exceptional, you struggle to find positions to use it. Whereas in the object for, for 140, you certainly don't struggle as much. Of course, on the move accuracy of these Russian medium tanks is basically famous. As it should be, as you can see there. It is truly as good as they say. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get out this way. TVP chilling on the inside, that's why I didn't want to attack all the way around wide while I'm hugging the buildings as much as I can. Oh, man. Okay. So the enemy are going to put a punch of there. Is there any way I can pick up this TVP? No, it didn't look like it. He's scampered off somewhere. I'm going to fall back to the middle with the rest of my team. I mean, it's one of the lovely things. If you see a, an engagement that you don't quite fancy in your medium tanks, then don't take it. I mean, for God's sake, when you're like, hey, that's what your tanks are about. Tanks are, look, one of the main powers of these vehicles is the ability to, you're like, hey, I don't want to engage into a whole damn TVP and Skoda, uh, and, uh, Centurion Axe. It won't be the best for me, so I'm certainly not going to do it. Oh, I wanted a tracking shot. Okay, the uh, Yakans is fired. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Oh! Ho oh, oh. 100 millimeters of frontal armor. It's not even strong today, isn't it? Alright. Oh man! Thought that would get him. I have seven on the flank, but. Where's that bat chat? I need to know. If I know where that bat chat is, I can start thinking about making an engagement. Otherwise. Wait, what the? Re he aimed at the Yakpanzen. Yakpanzen accidentally hit me. Okay, back chat fired one that I could see. Yagpons have fired one. There's because my animal for the entire game. Wow, really he can get the blood? Really? How? How is that an angle? Are you serious? Look at that, man. Jeez, what a misplay. I mean, from here, it does not look like you can get the drive wheel at all, does it? Like, from there, it looks like you're perfectly in cover. Uh, perspective, I guess. What could I have done differently? Uh, not played like a noob. Uh, 
It was greedy for, to go for the shell on the black batch out while the 113 was out wide and quite frankly foolish. Um, utterly stupid play that probably cost me and my team the game. Um, don't be greedy in your medium chunks, I guess. Mm. These medium chunks are just all about versatility, they can lie. And there's one of the reasons I like medium tanks as a class. They're so skill based that that they elevate your plays. They they give you the ability, oh, I wanna play like this today, I wanna play like this. They're none of the most versatile class in the game. You've got the E50 to the Amex CDC. Like they're so different from tank to tank, and that makes these tanks so much fun to play. But the most important skills that you can have in them are probably anticipation and remembering to use your mobility. I mean, okay, it's not all about just using one linear engagement to close the distance to the enemy in your mediums. Gentlemen, hopefully you found the gameplay helpful and, uh, yeah, until next time. Mm. Farewell. I'm Jingle! I'm sure. Um, <laughs> no. At this moment that he knew, he fucked up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>